Good morning, students. Today we are going to start with chemistry practicals. We have performed some of the practicals in the lab, and we are sending it to you. However, as soon as the school reopens, you will also get a chance to perform these practicals in laboratory. Till then, you are required to write these practicals in your rough copy. in the format provided later on when you buy your lab practical files you can note it down over there in this experiment we have taken a salt containing copper ion that is copper sulfate in this case a test tube holder a test tube and bunsen burner we take a test tube and put one spatula of copper sulfate in it as you can observe over here the color of hydrated copper sulfate is blue we hold the test tube with a test tube holder and place it on the flame of a burner now what do we observe over here that as the salt is heated its color starts changing from blue to white also you can observe on the surface of the test tube that certain water droplets are getting condensed showing that the water of crystallization that was present in copper sulfate crystals is getting removed and then getting condensed on the walls of the test tube finally we obtain a white colored anhydrous copper sulfate salt in the test tube In this experiment we have taken lead nitrate which is a white crystalline solid two test tubes and a test tube holder freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution a blue litmus paper which is moist that is we have dipped it in water a passing tube along with a cork placed on it and bunsen burner we take a test tube and put one spatula of lead nitrate salt in it as you can observe over here now we put the cork on this test tube in which a passing tube has been attached we place it firmly so that any gas which is released during the course of experiment does not move out other than the passing tube we place it and take out the second test tube in this test tube we put some freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution as you can observe over here now we keep this test tube and take back the previous test tube holding it with a test tube holder we place it on a bunsen burner also we take the blue moist litmus paper and place it on the mouth of passing tube 
students you can observe that a crackling sound is produced and a reddish brown gas is being released in the test tube and when this reddish brown gas is made to fall on the moist litmus paper the blue litmus paper turn red now if we make this reddish brown gas pass through freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution it turns black in color however the residue in first test tube it reddish brown when hot and on cooling it changes to yellow and partly fuses with the glass giving it yellow stains as you can observe over here as you see the litmus paper has also turned red when the gas was passed on to it indicating that the gas was acidic in nature this ferrous sulfate solution is brown black indicating the evolution of nitrogen dioxide <laughs>
that is chromium oxide and we can observe some water droplets on the walls of the test tube also the colorless and odorless gas produced in this experiment is nitrogen gas <laughs>